Hello and welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to show you how to properly use the Ryobi bagging system. So come along with me and see what we can see. Now with the Ryobi bagging system, I did have an unboxing and assembly video. I'll go ahead and put a link on that down below. And I also have a whole bunch of other videos about the Ryobi Zero Turn mower. Uh, specifically this model, which is the ZT480EX. I'll put links to that down below as well. Now first off, on the bagging system, you see this little thing here that kind of turns. Well, it's not just a little play toy. <laughs> that's actually will indicate when the bag is full. I will tell you, it doesn't really work all that well, but yours might. If it does, when this thing's spinning, that means that it's empty. You still have a lot of room in there. When it stops spinning, does it spin anymore? That means your bag is full. And of course, before you get started, you wanna make sure everything is in its place. Down here is a latch. I have to pull this up a little bit. That opens up. And that's because there's this little uh, bar that comes out that actually goes, I should say this flap goes over. And that's how it latches down. The bins, as you see, have this little, the handle has a little divot. That goes underneath the bar but the rest of it goes over top. That's how it kind of locks in. Both of them are the exact same way. Uh, let's make sure this is down and completely latched. There we go. Make sure all your latches are in place because you want to have safety first, of course. Now, when mowing your yard, with a bagging system. You always wanna make sure that the grass is as dry as it can possibly be. Especially bagging systems like this, which do not have an external motor to help push the grass up through. Uh, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it is nice and dry. Because if it's not dry, or if it's way too high, if it's too high, of course, it's gonna be moist at the bottom. So if you have wet grass or grass is too high, it's just gonna get clogged up in the tube and you don't want that. I do, I just push it down a little bit, then pop it on out. Now normally this is where I use two hands, but I'm holding the camera. So I'm going to take this out off camera, and of course when it's full, it does stand up pretty well by itself. And if you want to use it for like mulching or something, then of course you just take this and do your marching thing, you know, however you want to do it. Or, if you happen to have a favorite place to dump stuff, all you got to do, pop it on over, has a nice little strap here, and everything pops right out. Really cool. Okay, and it collapses. <laughs> I like that. Then you simply put them both back on and you start all over again. Pretty neat. Okay, now a couple of really quick tips for you. If everything's full like this, you may have to 
clean out the chute right here. And that's why this is here. So you just kind of pop this, and then you clean the chute out. You just kind of reach in and pull everything out. Not a big deal. Also, of course, it is very, very important that you keep it on the blades on full speed. So you don't put it on the low speed cut. You keep it on the regular speed, and that will help push that grass up through. Well, thank you for coming along with me on knowing how to use the Ryobi bagging system. I'd really appreciate it if you could like this video, write a comment, and please subscribe. Oh, and hit that bell while you're at it. And as always, have a great day.